New at 10, a prom night turned nightmare after a senior says her dress designer ripped her off. A nonprofit group sponsored her night to remember, paying for her custom gown, but she tells the night team's Anna McAllister it looked nothing like she hoped for when she arrived. Anna. Michelle Gordon, the owner of this nonprofit, is demanding her money back. She says this designer owns her more than $800 for the dress and for the court fees to sue her. I cried when I got the dress in the mail, and I cried when she sent me the picture of the dress. It was really, really awful. Dasha Jackson vividly recalls the drama that unfolded the day of her senior prom. It was supposed to be the best night of her life, but that dream quickly turned into a nightmare. When I say it did not fit at all, like I put it on my arms and I think it stopped right here and that's as far as it could go. I couldn't even fit my hand through the sleeves. Jackson wasn't kidding. The gown she envisioned in her mind, nothing like the dress mailed to her by the designer. It was a big deal for me. My senior prom was all that I had and she really put me through a lot. Jackson won a contest from a local nonprofit called Sprinkle an Angel. The nonprofit focuses on helping local families financially. As the winner, her prom expenses were entirely paid for by the organization. But the dressmaker never came through on her promises. We never received the dress on the dates that she said. The prom was that Saturday at 9. We received the dress that Friday. The dress, not what Jackson asked for and entirely too small. The designer said she would fix she she it, would but the day of the prom, she, she backed off. out. Now, Jackson was without a dress, and Smith was out hundreds of dollars. I said, if I'm not going to get my money back, I'm just going to go ahead and sue you, because it's not fair that you took away from a foundation who's giving back to people. Smith filed a suit with the Monroe Courthouse. She continued to reach out to the designer, but Smith says she refused to pay for the dress and the court fees. Jackson's family bought her a gown an hour before prom. We haven't heard back from the designer. However, a woman who identified herself as the designer's mother reached out to Smith earlier today, saying she would pay her tomorrow. We'll let you know if she does. Live in the studio, Anna McAllister, NBC10, your local news leader.